So something you're going to have to get used to is rearranging the equation of a straight line and getting it into a particular format that the examiner is looking for. Um, I mean, we know that we can already write an equation in the form y equals mx plus c, so something like 8x plus 3, for example. Okay, and we're happy with it being in that format. Um, in some cases, um, the examiner might want you to write it in the form ax plus by equals c. Okay, so in that way, you could rearrange this to get the x's over to the left hand side. So take 8x from both sides, and you can write that as 8 minus 8x plus y equals 3. And then it's in the format that they're looking for here. Okay, so your a is minus 8, your b is 1, and your c is 3. Now, with that in mind, um, you may well when you work out the gradient and you get the intercept, end up with an equation that looks like uh, y is equal to minus 8 elevenths x plus 2 elevenths, for example. Okay, So you might get an equation like that, and you want to write it in this format. The best way to do that is, well... Before I say the best way to do that, um, the key information here is that usually what we want is that A, B and C are all integers. Okay, So we want them to be integers, so we can't have fractions. So otherwise you could just add 8 11 x to both sides and there we've got it. So the step that you should get used to is multiplying all the way through by this 11. So if you multiply through by 11, that gets rid of the fractions here and here. So you get 11y is equal to minus 8x plus 2. And then you can add 8x to both sides. And now it is in the format that we want. Okay, so we've got a is 8, b is 11, and c is 2. Okay, so it's just a little bit of rearranging. Just making sure that if you are told to write it in this format or any other particular format, it's just a case of rearranging some algebra.